guys, it's April. I haven't done a review yet this year. This is gonna be the first review and it's gonna be a little something different. I want to review a storybook. Something new for me on this channel. It should be fun. As always, I will do this review in the same fashion I do pretty much all of my other reviews. I will have the non-spoilery part first and then if there are spoiled filled thoughts that I just want to like put out to the universe, I will let you know when that happens. So as you saw, I want to talk about The Magic Bottle by Camille Rose Garcia. I learned about Camille Rose Garcia when I saw her illustrations for Alice in Wonderland and Snow White and Cinderella. They are just absolutely gorgeous, as you can tell by this cover. But then I learned that she had actually written her own storybook. I tried my hardest to get my hands on a copy of this book and it has finally happened. I'm really excited. Apparently it just might be out of print or something, so it's really hard to find a copy of, of this book. I don't know. Now this is a story of a young girl named Lulu who sees the muck and the gore and everything that is just wrong because of capitalism and how industry is just taking over and kicking animals out of their natural habitat. Then one day she finds a magic bottle that leads her to Peppermint Island, but as she's on a quest to find this island, she is running from the Peppermint Man. And that is this story. It's very whimsical but dark at the same time. It does have a political agenda if you couldn't tell by that synopsis which is perfectly fine because Dr. Seuss is also one to push slight political agenda in his storybooks but this one doesn't do it in a very subtle way it's very much in your face it is there it's not gonna be apologetic for it so if you don't like that kind of thing if you don't like constantly being pushed that capitalism is bad, that everything is just going to kaput and you need to stop now and try and make a difference kind of messaging, this is not the story for you. There were times where even I got a little, okay, can we have a little something more in this than just repeatedly telling me how capitalism is destroying everybody's life? I understand that. I know that's what you're trying to say. I want a little more of your whimsy. I want a little more of your, like, beautiful story telling. So there was this weird balance that I don't think quite got figured out in this story. I did really enjoy the illustrations in this book, which is the main reason I bought it because I absolutely love her illustration style. It's just, yeah. I would have to say that this page has got to be by far my favorite. The illustrations are what made this book for me. There are a lot of things that I didn't quite connect with with the story. It just like I said, there there was an agenda to it, and it wasn't subtle about it. It's the illustrations. I, I, I will hold on to this book because of the illustrations. It was hard to read the book as well because the typography in the story wasn't as well planned out as the illustrations. I've noticed that in a lot of her books. Is There's some font choices that don't make sense if you're reading a story, and there's some spacing issues that make it even harder. Like I said, I'm probably going to be holding on to this book because of the illustrations illustration. Not necessarily the story, but the illustration. The story probably just needed a few more rounds of editing and a few more iterations on what it's trying to accomplish, but I did enjoy it. I spent a lot of time looking at the pictures. If you don't get anything else from this review, then that the pictures are absolutely gorgeous. I'm okay with that. If you like something that's more dark and gritty and Edgar Allan Poe, Tim Burton-esque, this is a really interesting story to pick up. Plus, there's pirates. Figure out how all that goes together. So overall, I enjoyed the book. There's still some major faults that need to be figured out if it's ever going to get hit mainstream for sure, but I think this is a nice little quirk to add to my library in case I just want something a little different. So those were my thoughts on this story. I don't really have a lot of spoilery discussion that I want to put out there, mainly because it is such a short storybook there really isn't much to discuss that I haven't already talked about before, so I'm just gonna leave it here. I heart your beautiful faces. Bye.